flock here each day. But allow she me is to so pretty. Soul, I'm sorry. I love and I love Josephine's outfit. Sir Trevelyan. May I, present the I know people ready. like to say when that it's like super extra, place, and some people think it's ugly. I love her outfits. How is your own land interesting at his land for pilgrimage? This inquisition is not a beneficiary of this arrangement. This is the first I've heard of Haven having an owner outside the Chantry. My wife, Lady Machin of Denmark. God, the politics in this game. <laughs> See, like. We were honored. It's been Blended like seven years since I played this. She is a, She was a woman of supreme merit. I know it's I super pretty. An upstart order remain on her holy ground. The Sarah romance sultry is the one that's supposed to be really spicy. Considering the Inquisition was begun by the left and right hands of the divine. I've seen no written records from Sister Liliana or Seeker Pentacles that Justinia approved She's the Inquisition. She's so pretty. She won't take her at her word. I'm afraid Seeker Pentagast must challenge him to a duel. What? It is a matter of honor among the Navarans. Shall I get back for tonight? No. No. Perhaps my reaction to the Inquisition's presence was somewhat hasty. <sighs> I don't think I ever we flirted with her at all, place. so this is all going to be completely new. Yeah, and her clipboard is like an accessory. Trust us to forge new alliances and the candle. No matter how She's just so cute. The dramatic turnaround. I think on it, Lady Montilier. The Inquisition Montilier. might stay in the meanwhile. The puffy sleeves, I love it. Yeah, I don't think I ever even flirted with her. I'm so pleased the Marquis isn't tossing us out into the cold. His grace is only the first of many dignitaries we must contend with. You expect more people in Haven? Undoubtedly. And each visitor will spread the story of the Inquisition after- The gold is such a good color. On her. Should ensure the tale is as oh, her as voice is lovely too. I don't know much about her voice actress, but. May I ask, what brought you to work for the Inquisition? Sister Leliana approached me. We've been acquainted for quite some time. For better or worse, being the Inquisition's <laughs> diplomat has become as interesting Not as. Not the possible. Dragon Age server. What sort of dealings Lady Montilier. Have you had I know, I love the sound. For some years, I was the royally appointed court ambassador from Antiva to Orle. The nobility of Thedas is a rather singular sphere. Those I'm not acquainted Oh. The dialogue, like, the cut off there. I think I remember that happening in the game. Thank you. I flirted with everyone. I should have, but I was more restrained. I was so much more restrained back then when I first played this. I was like so careful about who I flirted with and was like, oh, I don't want to accidentally flirt with the wrong person. I was like trying to strategize my romance, everything like that. Now I just go off vibes. How do you and Liliana know each other? We moved through similar circles in Norway. It's very quiet, but I can't make it any louder. Leliana was quite an accomplished player of the game by then. What exactly do you mean when you say the game? Ah, forgive me. The game refers to the slow duels of influence among the noble and powerful of Orlay. It's a rather light-hearted name for the matter, but our legions are fond of playful touches. Tell me about yourself. Ooh. What business are the Montilliers in, exactly? We began as merchants. My ancestors founded the first trade routes to Rivain. We once sent entire fleets across the Waking Sea. I would be so intimidated by her family and everything. Ah, no. uh, these days, our vessels are a touch more modest. I'd swear our families have met before. Perhaps. Everyone of distinction in the free marches attends Lady Trevelyan's summer balls. 
Great Aunt Lucille always did love a party. I don't recall seeing you with anyone. <laughs> Not these rich people. Attend one ball and you'll fend off invites for a dozen. Oh yeah. Flirting with Dorian as a woman, he's 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 very fun about it. To parties, how many am I getting? Only seventeen this month, I'm afraid. Only seventeen. Yeah, I played the I played the uh, Dalish Inquisitor, so I didn't get Tell this. Me. Do you believe I was saved by Andraste at the Temple of Saint Dialogue Ashes? either. I should much like to believe so, Your Worship. The miracles Andraste performed were so long ago, they're difficult to picture. If it were truly her and the fate who saved you, well, in any case, many already believe you walk in the Maker's Light. What did you do before coming here? I had the great honor of serving Antiva's crown as ambassador to Orle. That's so, that's so hardcore too. Emperor, welcome in. in! Though my siblings attend to our mercantile affairs. How strong are your past loyalties? I would never have given up my position if I did not intend to fully commit to the Inquisition. We cannot fall back on borders. Antiva is as threatened as any country by the rebellions. If anything, the alliances I forged there may help our... She's also course. just so good at her job. It's like, I love it. Do you think the Inquisition will continue after we seal the breach? Like, I wish I was so passionate about something. The breach, people may turn to us for other things. Protection, counsel, justice. The Inquisition offered these ones to those in need. Let's speak later. Goodbye. Let's flirt later. By the way, I wonder how soon you can the flirt with her. appreciate your assistance in this matter, Lady Corbin. And my miners appreciate your business. You'll have your Illyrium by the end of the week. I should tell this you, game is so good. I've missed this game kind of. When they learned about our it's arena. been so long since I played the it. The position must certainly seem an audacious idea to the Grand Clerics. We hope to convince them it is a necessary one. Your favorite character in Genshin? Oh, you have a, probably have a crush on her? <laughs> he responds to it well as a woman. It feels like when I flirt with my BFF. Yeah. A Game of Thrones game like this? I'll take my leave. Good day. Except the characters would suck. <laughs> Everyone would be like evil. <laughs> I thought we should reach out to the dwarves to secure Lyrium for the Inquisition's mages. According to Lady Corpin, it raised the ire of the Chantry. How? Access to Lyrium makes us rather more formidable than anticipated. We are becoming a challenge. Sadly, the remaining Grand Clerics appear to be consolidating the Chantry's power instead of comforting the masses. Ooh, the Inquisitor's armor! That looks fancy. I enjoyed my first playthrough of this game a lot. It's been so long since I played it. Started falling years ago. There are some the things I love about this game. And other Yet things I was like... continue to bear it great love. We will not benefit from its decline. Little but the Chantry ties Orle, Nevara, Ferelden, Antiva, and even Rivain to a common cause. Has the Chantry truly promoted such peace? And Rasti's chant is familiar across kingdoms, a source of many shared customs. That is the crucial point. Common ground is the start of all negotiations. She's so smart, too! Oh yeah, I agree, CM. I, I agree with a that. Shared faith can be useful when talking with strangers. Precisely, and these similar. And Josephine's so diplomatic well about everything. Game. We must learn to think beyond our own wants to secure peace in Thedas. As you can hear. Oh, you sound too good to be true. How did someone so lovely and selfless go into Orlesian politics? Ooh, Maybe okay, that's there. a good opening. Well, that is, uh, really, you give me too much credit. While you're here, I do have She just gets flustered. <laughs> the remaining Grand Cleric sent a missive inquiring about the events at the temple. I love the it. They demand to know Changes the subject the back to work. Officially claims that Andraste saved you from the breach. If it were up to you, how would you reply? That's private. <laughs> Don't ask me such questions. Will my answer change your reply to the Chantry? If Leliana, Cassandra, Cullen, and I could agree on our official stance, I could answer that. Yeah, good luck. We should decide soon. 
The revered mothers don't seem to know what to make of you. I love that her clipboard has a candle on it too, so her lighting is always perfect. I told the that Andraste herself shielded me from harm. I'd truly like to hear the debates that would raise in Val Royale. Thank you for your thoughts. A good day to you. So, her first flirtation was really cute. Um, the Bioware games always kind of they keep, they keep you on the edge a little bit, especially like these newer games. I feel like like the flirts. I mean, sometimes you know how the characters responding like positively, but like even there. Like, if I said that flirt in real life and she was just like, oh, you do me too much credit, I'd be like, oh, no, I made things awkward. I wouldn't know if that was positive or not. And so then the game, like, keeps you, like, also when you flirt with Cullen, he's just kind of like, huh, that's weird. And he's, like, kind of like, bye. But it's actually working and you don't know that it's working. Dragon Age campaign where we do quest based on the war map things. That would be cool. And then there's speaking of i was gonna say like you don't know i still don't know if karth was rejecting me or if he was like is he just awkward this is what this is the thing that gets me with these bioware characters i must speak with you <sighs> what is it i must explain i love you first about the montelier's fortunes I remember you said your family had been forbidden from trading in Orlais. It's devastated our finances. The Montelliers have, in fact, been in debt for over a hundred years. Oh, I forgot that detail. I'm not giving you a loan. I have no idea your family's situation. <laughs> Hello, so Silent scary. Chaos. Hardly anyone outside the family does. For generations, we've yeah. Done you probably wouldn't go around being like, "My family's sold in debt." By the way, to save off interest. It's just, it is infuriating to see my family still reduced to this. I'm to become head of our house. Ooh, look at her if pace. If I any more of our land, my family will become destitute. That cannot be my legacy to them. But you're not actually poor. Oh, shoot. <laughs> is there anything I can do? I'd almost solved our problems for a while. I negotiated a chance to reinstate the Montelliers as landed traders in Orlais. We could rebuild with that. But when I dispatched paperwork to Val Royale, I've just learned my carriers were murdered. That's dark. And the documents restoring my family's trading status destroyed. Do you have any idea who murdered them? Leliana made inquiries that bore success. Count Boyer, I bet she did. A nobleman in Val Royale claims to know who killed my messengers. He has a request. Her hair is so cute come too. When I meet him, so he's seen publicly conferring with you. What will being seen with me gain the Count? The Count will drop hints at parties he's to meet with an important visitor. Allies and rivals will take note. Once he's met you, there will be speculation. The Count will subtly spin reports to his advantage. I love Josephine's really nose. But if he knows who killed my people... Which might sound I weird, but I just love... I love it. If that's what it takes to get to the bottom of this, I'll meet this Count with you. Thank you, Inquisitor. It means... You are too kind. I must know who killed my couriers just to harm my family. It's like, it was me. I did it for attention. <laughs> do you know where this noble wanted to meet us? <clears throat> I do. The Comte Boisvert has invited us to his mansion, not far from here. Oh, she has a great warden armor on now. Hey, there's, there's Dorian over on the side. <laughs> Lead the way. Her voice is so good, too. I don't Where remember this. Is this? I don't remember this. If it's just because I us, haven't played you the game in forever, right. or Please, if this is like romance exclusive. We appreciate your help, Count. The death of Lady Montilly's servants must weigh heavily on you. Have you heard of the House of Repose? The Assassins League. 
Their masks. I contacted <laughs> a copy of a document in the archives. Contract for life. House of Repose is hereby sworn to eliminate anyone attempting to overturn the Montelier's trading exile in Orlais. Yeah, that's bad. That's not good. I think this is a romance. I don't remember because this could be like a just like a companion quest too. So but I, too. I haven't played in so many I, years. I don't. I am afraid so. Yes. The contract was signed by a noble family. The Du Parquets. But you the like it. died out as a noble line over 60 years ago. Indeed. But the contract was signed 109 <laughs> This is so realistic. Okay, this is her companion quest. Okay, that's what I figured. I was like, this doesn't seem romantic. I just don't remember going here and doing... But it wasn't invoked until I... But like I said, it's been like eight, seven, eight years for me. Unpleasant though it may be, the House of Repose is merely fulfilling its contractual duty. If the people who wanted your family dead are gone, why are the assassins still after you? A contract is a contract, Inquisitor. This was your first Inquisition romance? Hey! Hello, Zach. The entire guild's welfare would be I feel like I should have romanced someone else, so... On a of time or fate. I'm curious what these right. others are like. The House of Repose is doing what it The Cullen romance was like... By its standards. For me, personally. I assume you have a thought or two on this, Josephine. The two parakets still have descendants under the common branch. If we elevate them to nobility, a two parakets could annul the contract on my life. Uh, that will take time, Lady Montilly. How do they drink wine I with the mask on? The House of Repose will be obliged to. <clears throat> will they now? You are mm. extremely well informed. You're not to have said you'd heard rumors at best. A bit of subterfuge. This contact on your life is an ugly business. When the her, house you can see that devious little point. look in her eye. But this is all eh? Even an assassin's word is his bond. Does Comte Boisvert actually exist? Absolutely. The Comte's offer to reveal the killers of Lady Montilly's messenger. Is a Liliana romance possible? So was his information somehow. Danny, hello. Um, so you can romance Liliana in Dragon Age Origins, uh, and so she can be in a romance with your Origins character that continues, like that they're still devoted to each other by the time you get to Inquisition. But I think that's the only way that you can romance Liliana. I don't think there's like a Inquisitor. Leliana's at a different point in her life at that point. I don't think I don't think she's romanceable in by the Inquisitor. I'm guessing the actual Comte Boisvert met with a fatal accident. Comte Boisvert slumbers in a nearby closet. Nothing. Good. Slumbers in a the nearby closet. The his life is so unusual. We felt the courtesy of an explanation was in order. It is appreciated, Monsieur. Your idea to seek out a Duparaquette to revoke our orders is uh, an interesting one. I wish you luck. No, you don't. Don't lie. I did not come to shed blood today, Inquisitor. Only to speak. Might I pass? You shall not pass. Ooh, attack the assassin? Ooh, what are they going to do? Why warn us about your contract and let us go? In Orlais, it is only decent to inform those involved in a contract when extraordinary circumstances conspire. And the guild's reputation would suffer if you ignored the contract. I quite understand. Thank you. Her profile is just so adventure. good. Go I might have to buy a Switch. Okay. Do it, CM. My lady, I pray we would never meet again. His puffy sleeves are not as nice as hers, but... Does the Grey Warden survive the final boss? Uh, that depends on your choices. They can. They can. Well, I didn't think our meeting would end like this. We'll deal with these assassins. I have some thoughts. Let's discuss them. This is such a pretty I game, too. Walls me. Do you hear something? It's so pretty. Mm. Oh, goodness. Uh, Comte Poivre, is that you? Oh, yeah, let him out of the... <gasps> oh, the lock's been broken off. 
We'll find a saw. <gasps> I realize the cabinet is quite valuable, Comte, but surely. <laughs> locksmith, then? That's so cute, AD legend. I'm so sorry, Inquisitor. I oh, look at her chair, you guys! Would trap us in an assassin's plot. Her chair is iconic. Between our soldiers and spies, Skyhold's safer than anywhere else in Thedas. Yet the problem persists. I've tracked down the last two paraquets. If they become gentry, they can annul the contract on my life. We'll require a noble from Val Royale to sponsor them, a judge to provide documents, a minister to ratify them. It's like hey, there's Liliana. Speak of, of speak of the Even devil. Even when your life is at stake. I assume you already know everything about this mess. There is a faster way, Josephine. The original contract on your life is in the vaults of the House of Repose. If my agents infiltrate it and destroy the original, the assassin will have no obligation to Oh, hi. Thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. No more bloodshed over a personal... Thunder out! Thank you for the resub! 14 months! Thank you so much! What the heck? Thank you, thank you. How are you? Not a fair. Don't be so stubborn, Josie. How long will it take you to gather these favors in Josie? Valvayol? I hope you're doing well. I never played in the era where you could change I the Inquisitor's Skyhold outfit either. Now you My can change out of these pajamas. Change your mind. I'll post a watch on our ambassador in case the House of Repose visits. I appreciate it, but I still believe elevating the Duparakets will solve this. First, we need to perform some favors in Varwayo. I'd be happy to discuss where we could begin. She's immediately writing. It's so good. It's so, she's so cute. I want the. I want the. Any come on. The I need to see the flirts sister. now. Flirt version two. You said I'd have to do some favors in Varwayo if we want to make the Duparakets. Yeah, you can change the outfit. Oh, she was in Hunter Hunter. Who? her news of him and she'll be very amenable to sponsoring the well, uh, hello yeah you can make you can make pretty inquisitor outfits now and i don't know i don't know if they're all mods are we sure this is a romance it's supposed to be yes there was one flirt so far and then it was a personal quest and i'm like okay we're halfway through it i don't i don't know how in depth the josephine romance is but um but yeah, that's a good thing to check. It is, it is. Zazan. I don't know, I don't remember that, who that is. I think, I think the romance quest is coming up, but. Can you arrange what we discussed earlier, Ambassador? I found the money. The Inquisition will compensate the families of those we lost at Haven. Thank you. Any news on the House of Repose, Inquisitor? Uh, what's the next favor we need to get these two paraquets a lordship? We must persuade Minister Belize to ratify the papers. She's in charge of these matters of rank. The minister will be at a small fete thrown by the Marquis with Scott. I'll get a small fete picks up after a companion quest. Okay, no, they haven't danced Thank at the ball yet. Me in private, Minister Belize. I chastise you for taking me from the party, Inquisitor, but the Marquis throws such dull affairs, it's hardly worth it. I assume you wish to discuss your petition to elevate <laughs> the Orlesians in this game. Minor lordship. Tell me, why should I allow you to pollute the Orlesian nobility any further than it's already been muddled? The Duparakets used to be noble. You'd be restoring an old house of Orlay. <laughs> restoring it far too late. What are the Duparakets now? Yeah, that Do mask. I like the color of the mask, mask, but... Really, it is too much. That How? How would you wear pain. that? What can you possibly provide that will make your petition worth my effort? An unforgettable night? What? <laughs> Some of the options in here, I don't remember. 
I oh. don't think we'll be missed from the party for a while. Are you quite serious? Oh my god, what is this? For the pleasure of your company, Minister. Absolutely. What? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what? Fetch me some pillows. Fetch me some pillows? Is that what that said? What? This is not what I expected to see. <laughs> I don't even know who that was. Pillows, I know, right? <laughs> I received a letter from the house of the Your Worship. They acknowledge their contract is null and void. Okay, now we're back to Josephine. <laughs> like, what? I'm so confused. First of all, I haven't played this game in like seven years, so I don't re even remember. The, like, I don't remember the finer details of like any of these quests, really. Except maybe a couple random things that have stuck in my head. But um, I didn't even know you could do stuff like that in Inquisition, to be honest. And I, and I don't even know who that was. Wait, so he slept with the minister to restore Josephine's family honor. I guess that's what happened. I guess. And she agreed. Like, it worked. The Inquisitor agreed. I, I mean, the, the, the minister agreed. <laughs> I'm glad you don't have to live your life looking Oh, no. Story. It's like, okay, I did it, Josephine. I regret we were forced to deal with them. That you were endangered by my mm. part in the game. Don't worry, I don't think she was endangered Did that I much. Did I ever mention I used to be a bard? You were a singer. Bards entertain the Orlesian court. They sing, play music, make charming, charming conversation. conversation, and spy. Many young nobles put on a mask and practice playing the game in such a fashion. I love the Grey Warden armor. What made you interested in becoming a bard? I was attending a university in Valroyo when I learned about bards. There was such an air of romance about them. Stories of secrets, trysts, and fascinating people. A group of us, young gentry from Antipa, decided this exciting life was for us. That does seem like I can see it, but I also can't see it for her. You seem a bit... steady. Like, I agree with that, but I can like also that. see it. <laughs> the life of an entertainer didn't suit me at all. During one particular intrigue, I encountered the bard sent to kill my patron. We fought. Or perhaps scrapped is the better word. Josephine fighting? Show me. We were at the top of a steep flight of stairs. The other bard threw a knife and I pushed him away from me. You can imagine the result. Oh, shoot. I don't remember any of this, you guys. If I'm supposed to remember this, I don't remember any of this. This is like a first time experience for me. I don't see the fault. You survived, as did your patron. But it was such a waste, Inquisitor. When I took off his mask, I knew him. Aww. We'd attended parties together. If I'd stopped to reason, if I'd used my voice instead of scuffling like a common thug, I'll always wonder who that young man would have grown into. <sighs> You're too soft-hearted you for this? No, you can't play the game without bloodshed. <gasps> That's never so... Never as the first resort, Inquisitor. Never as a way that makes courage. I could never say that to her. You're too soft-hearted. Motion... For this. Forgive me. I don't believe I ever thanked you for helping me with this. It's okay. I just had to, you know, do a little bit of banging. I do it again in a heartbeat. Such a gracious woman deserves nothing less. Such a gracious I... woman. So that was the flirt. Such talk. Oh. I'm quite overcome. Should I stop? <gasps> no. I mean, yes. I meant no. I I don't. Oh, she's the cute, awkward well, kind. If you meant to draw a blush to my cheeks, you've completely succeeded. Let's return to Skyhold before anyone notices. That was cute. That was. I think I love that. Like, that was kind of the same dynamic as like when you flirt with Tally. Well, Senator, welcome in. It's like this kind of cute, awkward. A little bit Alistair's like that, but this is different. I feel like Josephine pulls it off the best from from those. Alistair's is a little bit different because he's kind of like snarky too. Um, watching this makes me so excited. I, I have conflicting feelings about Dragon Age Inquisition, but there's so much I don't remember about the game 
just watching this right now, even just like this tiny snippet. I'm like, also, I was so much younger when I played uh, back in the day. Okay. It gets better. Let's keep going. These games are so in-depth. There's always much to be rediscovered. Yeah, the, the, this game is huge, which is one of the one of the issues I had with it when I first played is just that, like, I felt there, there, there were a lot of, like, side quests that were just kind of, like, eh, like, chores to do, and some of it felt too big, but but the... It's a beautiful world, and, like, when you get the story elements, I really enjoyed them. Like, I really want to replay it before the new game comes out at some point, but I don't know. I to speak with you, Inquisitor. It seemed rather urgent. A pleasure. Let's speak later. Another time. Let's speak later. Inquisitor. Next scene. May I have a word? I notice you've paid late <gasps> atelier quite what? a number of compliments. Wait, she's like, oh no. Yes. I enjoy her company very much. An entanglement with our ambassador seems. Oh, this is unexpected. I didn't know this was going to happen. I asked Josephine to join the Inquisition because we needed a diplomat. Oh! <gasps> she could be toyed with. I enjoy being with Josephine. I'm not trying to break her heart. And then I would be more cautious. Josephine is no stranger to courtly intrigue. Oh, she is so defensive of her. She has no idea you are truly attracted to her. If indeed you are. Oh my god. She's being such a wing woman. <laughs> like Yes. I'm very attracted to her. Oh Jason. shoot. Is that so? Whatever is between you, I ask that you treat her with I would be so threatened. For her sake. As well as yours. I'd be like, okay, I'm really being watched right now. This woman will kill me Whatever if I happens, mess up. <laughs> I'm glad to see Josephine has a concerned friend here. I have so few true friends these days. Oh, Liliana. Those that are left, I deeply cherish. I will not trouble you any further, but I do watch over my friends. Good day, your worship. Oh, Liliana, so... So damaged. Well, She's been through Leliana so much. Just gave me quite the speech. Oh shoot! Just what tell her immediately. Leliana. Yes. <laughs> oh, she is impossible. <laughs> yeah, she's ready to kill you. Private. She's like, no one will know about your death. If you break her heart, no one Leliana will remember said you. I was an innocent in love. More or less. She's pacing. This is so cute. Of all the, I'm quite capable of understanding our association. I've <laughs> never thought your intentions were overly romantic, Inquisitor. I am oh, I should have flirted harder. I should have composed a ballad then, or sent roses. What? You mean you <gasps> do? We've only just. I didn't wish to presume you harbored any tender feelings for me. Oh, the music in the background. I won't deny a certain captivation, Josephine. But we haven't even known each other a few short months. That's enough How time. How you declare this liking for me after such a brief time together? But I would be like that too. I've never met anyone whose presence affects me like you do. Perhaps it just means I'm a hopeless romantic. But there you have it. I would not object to a closer relationship between us, my lady. Oh, they're both so me. cute. This just feels, yeah, Josephine. That's what I'm gonna say. It's like it make me happier. She, like I, I can see myself in this a little bit. Like, of course, they're not gonna be like she's Demi, but she's like, oh, it's so soon. I don't know. I feel I like I like that. That was cute. Also, um. It just, it doesn't feel as cringy. Like, I don't know what it is about this. We haven't really watched any Inquisition romances, so I don't know if it's just different in Inquisition. I don't remember how it feels. But, like, it doesn't feel very cringy or weird. Like, the flirts just feel more, like, normal, I feel. First you were Ryder, then you are Josie. I know, I'm like, I can see myself in this. <laughs> That's the beauty of Bioware. Um... Yeah, but as soon as I hear a character, like, literally, I'll be like, this character's Demi. Characters 
probably not actually Demi, but anytime a character's like has a slow burn romance or like displays anything that to me is like familiar as like demisexual, I'm like, they're totally Demi. <laughs> Eldrick, welcome in. I'm courting the most beautiful woman mm. in the entire castle. That helps a great deal. <laughs> oh my, you flatter me much too much. You flatter me. Let's talk about us. Oh, you can break up with her. Okay, yeah, you can break up with everyone in this game. I remember that. Has our been together set any tongues wagging? Undoubtedly. A rumor already gave you a dozen suitors the moment you took your title. Oh, shoot. Who were these rumors pairing me with? I can only speak to what was whispered in several courts. Josephine. <sighs> to begin with, Cassandra, Leliana, Colin, Dorian, Mother Giselle... Dorian? <laughs> Fiona? Fiona? Three R's, two counts, and some man named Philip. Who the heck is Philip? Honestly, I don't think he even exists. Oh my god. Did it say Roderick? Bro. I want to spend some time with just you and me, Josephine. This is so funny. That sounds lovely. Yeah, go on a date. Oh, wait, you can just have a scene like this? Oh, this is their kissing scene. Look at we're speaking about fall, the fall colors, the art. That's cute. With Cullen, you're just like up on the battlements. I <laughs> you said you wanted to see your original family crest. I found one for you. Okay, that's a good gift. I'm astonished. I'd given up hope that any example of the early family crest still existed. It even has our first motto, back from when we had a trading fleet to Hello, Legendator! From sea to shore, <laughs> we tame the way. The motto's a bit much. Oh my god. Anything to see you smile. And you've certainly succeeded. That's cute. Thank you. This feels like a relatively normal romance, I've, I've gotta say. In comparison. I've just received the most terrible news. What is it? Even in comparison to like Cullen. You have a lot of things to deal with with Cullen. I'm engaged. Okay, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> like, this is pretty what normal. I'm engaged. For the past year, my mother and father <laughs> have searched Antiva for a match for me. They How old is Josephine? I, had grown I felt like she was always, like, kind of older in my head. I received a letter declaring they've betrothed yeah, Cullen's definitely, I can fix him. Of I must deal with this. But until then, we cannot be seen in a compromising situation. I'm so sorry. No. Okay, have a secret. Ooh, this I love this. A secret Are love you affair. We act Ooh. Like nothing's happened between us. No, no, not at all. But it is not right that we carry on while I am betrothed. I must break off the match first. This is perfect. Early thirties. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like late twenties, early thirties, or something. But I don't really know. Let me know what I can do, Josephine. That's just the feel that I got. No. Thank you so much, but no. Until I know more, I cannot risk your reputation. Why this see, this is great, this though, because it's... Of all times, I must see this. It's I like the forbidden this. romance now. It makes it better. Because now it's like, ooh, we're not supposed to be together, but we have feelings for each other already. I love that. I love that that story, too. She's, oh, this is romance specific. She's like 25. Okay. Um, hello, face shield. Welcome in. The languages in KOTOR are stuck in my head. Honestly, they get stuck in my head, too. Okay, so now what's going to happen, though? Inquisitor, I'm afraid untangling my engagement to Lord Otranto will take some time. Is there anything I can do? He is Antiva. The only acceptable thing to do duel! is to duel for my favor. Hello, Morgan! Yeah, I love the forbidden romance, too. I love that. I love that trope, also. Especially when it's something Every like this, and, like, no one's actually getting hurt. Please, Inquisitor. 
Inquisitor, no. If Otranto found you are a shady bastard. But a handsome one, right? The Storage closet! I'm gonna get roasted for that forever. Do it! I would get skewered. You have bad taste in men. I have really bad taste in men. I feel like my my taste in romance gets worse and worse over time. Uh, I got to explain to class so wearing medieval plate mail was like, I am so jealous. That's so cool. That's so cool, though. Inquisitor. Look at Cullen's card. He looks so rough in that art. Wait, that is supposed to be Cullen's art, right? There he is. That's who I romanced. Your worship. May I deliver a message from Lord Adorno Cello Tranto of Ativa? His lordship accepts your request. Yes! <laughs> this is gonna be great. Montelier. He awaits your pleasure in Val Royal. I wish it was like Zevran. Wouldn't that be hilarious? Tell Lord Tranto I look forward to settling this honorably. At once. You show up to the duel, it's like this Antivan. And it's like Zevran. You're like, Zevran, you're not even a noble. Get out of here. <laughs> Ooh. I am Lord Dotranto of Antifa. Rightfully betrothed. Nice outfit. That's true, Wild Strider. The songs of your exploits have spread to my city, Inquisitor. It's humbling to make your acquaintance. The music is so good. I can't actually believe <laughs> they're doing it. It is a pity it will not last longer. She's a mage. Do, She's a mage. Your satisfaction. Am I not allowed to pick my means of defense? Ha! Huh. Aside from the fact that your mage fire may put me at a disadvantage, I am the wounded party in this duel. Tradition dictates oh. that I select our weapons. Of course, if you fear you might be clumsy with such a refined instrument. There is no shame in a forfeit. Bro, so you just have to suffer. <laughs> I trust you've made this a fair fight, Lord Otranto. Upon my honor. Yeah, Morgan, you love the Dorian romance. I haven't seen the Dorian romance either. At least not fully. An admirable start, Inquisitor. Bro, Perhaps I would not know what I was doing. The obscure backwater I've heard it to be. If I was a mage? Just insulting your house, I'm too. I'm glad Lady Montilier isn't here. Exquisite as I've heard her appearance to be. Yeah, she's pretty beautiful. I've already kissed her! That's what I'd be saying. Cutting you down in front of Josephine would have given a poor first impression of House Otranto to my bride. Your family of backstabbers, say it. Say it. Yes. Strange. I would think the Otrantos already have enough blood on their hands after cheating the Tarazas. Who told you? You dare to bring up that slander here? Well, yeah. That's how you get you to make a mistake. Inquisitor, I will personally stop. Oh no, she's gonna be pissed! Josephine! I'd be so mad, but I'd be like, Lady mad. What a I'd be to... mad. What are you doing? I'd like have to be mad, but I'd secretly be like, oh my god. <gasps> Josephine, I can't take the chance that you might have to marry him. That's not your decision. That's true! Inquisition needs you. That's true! Yet you throw yourself into danger. Why do this? Why risk everything we've built? Why risk your life? Out of love. <gasps> because I love you. Oh, that was an achievement. You, that scared me. You do? Just announced that she, she loved. Does? She does? <laughs> 
Yes, Josephine. I love, I love how so even much. he's like, what? I love you too. Oh, that was cute. She's like, never mind. Oh, and then they hug. Bro, put their sword away. Well fought. Lord Otranto. I'd assumed your liaison with the Inquisitor was an affair of passion or convenience, Lady Montillier. But I'm not fool enough to stand in the way of true affection. Oh my god. <laughs> this is like a Disney movie. Thank you. Do not thank me. I know when I'm outmatched. Yeah, you know that she's not gonna love you. She'd never love you! Do you have a glowing green thing on your hand? No. I've never been happier in my life. We're tempting fate with such talk. But neither have I. Just do kiss me again. Aww. Everyone just walks away. They're like, okay, bye. <laughs> okay, that was super cute. Wait, wait, wait. I gotta pause to catch up with chat for a second. Cullen romance after Solace helps me to deal with this thing. I didn't romance Solace, so I guess I got lucky in that regard. Um, from Solace to Blackwall. I have heard the Blackwall romance is good, too. My older sister loves Blackwall. There's like a, everyone's a different romancer in my family. Secretly, everyone wants to be dueled over. Exactly. Yeah, that was a complete 180 in emotions. But that's because, like, if you see someone dueling for you, like, oh, I didn't want you to duel for me. But then, like, you secretly did want them to duel for you. And so, like, secretly, you're like, oh, this is great. But you have to be mad about it. Yeah, my soul, my older sister loves Blackwall. <laughs> she really likes her leg tip thing. Oh, yeah. The leg raise. She, that's like a signature thing. Yeah, she's like a Disney princess. That's what it feels. That's what this romance feels like to me. It's very different than the Cullen romance. And I think the Cullen romance gets kind of fluffy too. But also it gets kind of dark at some points. Like more than I guess you would expect. Like it's not as nice as this overall. Have you been dueled over? Sadly not. Well, actually there was... There was Reyes versus Sloane, but that wasn't, <laughs> that wasn't, that wasn't it. That wasn't it. Oh, that is cute! I can't stop thinking about your duel in Val Royale. Hmm. Usually the mortal gentleman. The okay, I her- I don't believe you. Because I'm lying. <laughs> no, you and Reyes, you, listen, he's a great duelist. Yeah, he totally dueled that. She had her head on her boobs, that's cute. The sword flashing. I had to point that out. I had I to pause so that. I was worried for you, but at the same time, well, it was the most exciting thing I've seen in ages. See? <laughs> See? She wanted that duel. You do remember what this Inquisition has been doing, <clears throat> don't you? Allow me to correct myself. The most exciting thing I have seen that didn't threaten to stop my heart. Well, that's you know, cute. When I first laid eyes on you back at Haven, I hadn't an inkling we'd become so close. This romance is so warm. It really is. It just has a warm vibe. <laughs> tell me your breath was stolen away by my incredible beauty. <laughs> you are too much. I don't know, it's just cute. Especially given your greater calling. Sometimes I must remind myself that I'm required to share you with the rest of the world. Maybe I'm gonna romance Josephine next time. The I'm sorry, Cullen. My time, Josephine. But you have my heart. Doesn't hold up. Then I count myself happy. Beyond compare. This is just like, it feels like... At the same time, it feels very Disney. It also feels kind of normal and like realistic and I don't know how those two things can coincide but it I don't know that's what I feel like I'm 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 sorry Cullen I feel like that was a better romance but I mean it's really I got a health insurance ad my life SMH get out of here 
<laughs> I feel like that was, I mean, it was very cute. Sorry, not sorry, Colin. <laughs> it was, okay. But like I said, it feels like a Disney romance. I can see, I can see why people may or may not like the Josephine. Like, I feel like either you're going to love it or you're going to be like, nah, I don't want that. Because it, it does feel a little bit like, like a like a Disney princess kind of thing and that there's the duel so it's kind of like this traditional but but if you take away those elements I feel like their interactions with each other are just like 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 a normal this way I I feel like it didn't feel cringy to me like their actual discussions and dynamic with each other just felt like very normal and like comfortable I haven't seen Iron Bull. No, I haven't. I haven't seen anything other than I played the first time like seven, eight years ago and I romanced Cullen in my playthrough. And then this one is the only other one I've seen so far. This was our first Inquisition romance. So is the music specific to Josephine? I don't know. I I would imagine it's a, a romance music at the end there. But the music was good, too. Lego, welcome in. Um, watch the other romances before deciding. Yeah, I haven't seen any of the other ones fully. The romance was fine. All the court politics made me happy. I didn't... The game has a lot of court politics, Renaticus. And, um... It, it's a very different style. It's a very different style than the other... I mean, like, I think each Dragon Age game feels different in terms of, like, what it offers to the player and, and what you do. But Inquisition like taking on the role of the inquisitor comes with a lot of that big leadership stuff, like big micromanaging politics and missions and things like that. So it just, it's very different. Um, they didn't include the bits with her. You're right. You're right. Wait, the winter palace. Wait, let me see. Maybe I can find that scene. Yeah, there wasn't anything from that. I mean, we knew it was a shorter... Hey, look at look another suggested video for me. Clones disobeying orders. You guys, all of my suggested videos are clones. Josephine. Uh, maybe I can find this. Josephine Romance Winter Palace. Oh, this is a pretty short scene. Um... Oh, which one do I want to click now? There's like a few different ones. So I'm sure that the one we watched was the algorithm knows me. I know they're like, <laughs> everything is showing me clones now. Uh, I'm going to click this one that says. Uh, Josephine Romance Winter Palace. This is with a female Kunari, and it's like five minutes. So I think it's going to include some of the banter in the Winter Palace, as well as hopefully a dance scene, I imagine. I mean, all the romances get their little dance scene, right? Um, I feel like every single Dragon Age Inquisition romance is so different from what I want to see them all. Uh, yes, we've been expecting you. Thank you for the follow, Yen said. Okay, let's check this one out. While we're still here, Let's see if this. Josephine, oh Josephine, is this her? Inquisitor, please allow me to present to you my younger sister. Oh shoot, her sister! Welcome in, Yen said. Oh, Delighted let me get those glasses for Nerdiverse. <laughs> Welcome in, Nerdiverse. Inquisitor, I so this is a Canary Inquisitor. But not as much as I want. Josephine writes, but she never tells me anything. She writes, but she never tells me anything. Are going to elope and move to the Underfans and join the Grey Wardens and fight Darkspot? Oh shoot, yeah. I want to know. Are you going to elope and fight Darkspawn? Yes. Didn't I, darling? I knew it. Inquisitor, please give her no more ammunition. I beg you. This may be my only chance to hear about when Josephine was a girl. It's oh, yeah. kind of the dialogue is quiet. About when she was ten, and Yvette, stop. Fine. Uh, what about? I want to hear the embarrassing stories. No, she once told the Duke of 
Absolutely not. Hmm. She still plays with her doll collection when no one's looking. Yvette. <laughs> Absurd. I bet she Absolutely. does. I love that for her. <laughs> I didn't even know she had a sister. Enjoying the ball? I see many of them. The dancing is so dull, your worship. But the Empress's gallery is magnificent. Yvette. Sorry, Josephine. Go on, Josephine. Half a royal must be empty. So many of the Empire's finest are in attendance. They've noticed the Empress paying you special attention, but they don't quite know how to take advantage of it yet. This uncertainty won't last long, I'm afraid. Tell me about yourself, Lady Yvette. This is the first time I've encountered any of Josephine's family. She would forget to mention the artists. I've been studying painting under Antiva's royal tutors. You should be proud, Josie. I'm going to be exhibiting my work next season. In Ooh, the she's an artist. Time. Have you actually sat down and finished the painting yet? I must wait for my inspiration. Oh my god, and the I sister relationship here? Accurate. Which power should the Inquisition throw its weight behind? Celine has held the throne successfully for years. I see no profit in ousting her. Gaspard has run military campaigns, but never a kingdom. His transition would be... Let us say oh, the subtitles, you're right. Why aren't they in I'll the game? Another time. That is weird. Oh, Morrigan looking fantastic. Is everything all right? You look troubled. I wonder if they just have them turned off or I'm what? I'm just worn out. Tonight has been very long. It was a tumultuous evening, but... Orle is safe now. It was worth the struggle. Is there anything I can do? Um, can I get you anything? A drink, perhaps? She looks good in that outfit. Would you care to dance with me, Lady Josephine? Yes! I would love to, my lady. Oh, well, that's cute. Oh, it makes it easier for screenshots. I never thought about that either. The last time I was at Alam Shiral was Countess Letien's wedding. There were a dozen affairs, five secret alliances, and a duel between two chevaliers over the vintage of an Antivan port. But until the Duchess was unmasked, I've never seen the Winter Palace in shock. You don't see the Empress of Orlais almost killed in cold blood every day. Not so brazenly, no. The game's become increasingly insular in the past few years. Corypheus skillfully took advantage. It's disturbing so few people in the Orlesian court were aware of the Duchess's machinations. I don't even remember what outcome the I chose. The Empress realized she was in danger. She's always in danger. Those loyal to her should have practiced. Prothpines, fuck men. Orlay is. <laughs> That's a low gain thing to say. This is the this is Inquisition, the third game. My favorite moment of the evening is still our waltz in the garden. Oh. I could have danced with you for hours. We must do it again sometime. They would. Be oh. Anybody seen House of the Dragon? They would be dancers. I feel like the the dance scene for them, for some of the other other couples, I guess, I guess maybe I haven't watched all the other romances, but like oh, the formal dance scene fits this couple for sure. Like, oh, we dance together at the party. Uh, yeah, I agree that uh, I like having subtitles when I play games too. And I'm just, like, used to them being on, but I also never thought about leaving them off for, like, a lot of people do like to take screenshots and things of their game and, like, make it, like, cin cinematic, so I can see that, too. Should, should we look for the trespasser? Hello, Tater Tots! Welcome in! Josephine Trespasser. Um... Let's see. Yeah, let's go in. 
Let's click this one. Let's watch the Trespasser one too. These are real glasses, but right now I'm just wearing them because they were redeemed for stream. I don't normally wear them when I'm when I'm they're for they're for far away. They're not for like blue light or like up close. So I just it's just a point redemption. Um Okay. So let's watch this Trespasser one too. How have you Josephine romance? Um I will say that this trespasser stuff is completely new to me and I haven't seen, I haven't played trespasser. So this is like not only new in terms of the romance, but anything else that's kind of happening. Like I, I, I know what kind of happens in trespasser. I know like some of the major things that happen, but I never got to play it myself. So Bean, it seems ages since we've spoken. I hope all is well with you and Ambassador Montillier. Oh my god, <laughs> you're having like I a would spa never with her? Kiss and tell, Vivian. You know that. Merely expressing concern for your well being, my dear. Someone ought to. It's so good to see you, darling. I've been fielding Orlesian diplomats all over Okay, afternoon. like I said, the outfit's kind of. I don't like the outfit, but she pulls it off Not really at well. All. It is quite alarming. It means they are all saving themselves up for later. Would you walk with me? I should like to take some air before the Exalted Council becomes inescapable. The palace has been most accommodating. We are, after all, here at their insistence. But the ministers may... No. No more talk of the Council. This meeting was to spend time with you in a more Aww. relaxed fashion. You're tense as a bowstring. I'm so very dreadful at this. The truth is, there is a small entertainment happening tonight, to which I may be able to find a pair of invitations. You'd like me to go with you? Oh, very much so. In all the years you've worked with Orlé, you had so little time to enjoy its culture. Orlesian culture can't be any more special than Ravain's or Ferelden's. <laughs> Ravain, <laughs> if that is what you compare or relate to, I must give you a counterpoint. Sometimes, I'm afraid I do not make enough time for you, my love. Please, come with me tonight. Oh, she calls you my love. And what is this small entertainment? Something to ease our minds. I would very much like to surprise you with the details. If it makes you happy, how can I refuse? Oh, wonderful. I was worried we wouldn't find the time. The past years have been so busy. We have earned at least a few moments of rest. Yeah, I'd Calm say so. Out, sounds... Oh, bravo. Bravo. What? <laughs> Calm night out. Cut scene. Yeah, this is not... <laughs> was the woman in gold playing a king? Who was the man in feathers? Oh, it's all very simple. The first actor's mask is determined by... Uh, well, I will lend you the program guide. But tell me, did you enjoy the performance? Um, I think she went for you. <laughs> the performance pales in comparison to the lovely lady I saw it with. You are sidestepping the question. Love leaves my tongue tied. Oh my god. Well, in that case, I suppose allowances can be made. Ooh. Aww. I do hope you recovered from your night at the opera. Any earring is that all you get though? Day or two. That's a nice way to say Hello, the place, Octavia. Commander Cullen has reviewed the soldiers. Of course he has. That's all he does. Take courage, darling. Please visit me before we begin the Exalted Council. It would make me happy to see you. Oh. I hope they get more content. Oh, they have Cassandra's Divine? Right? Yes. Well, I... 
wanted to speak with you, and now you're here. I'm confused. Is this... I am. What's on your mind? Maybe you should sit. I can what? stand. What's Maybe going on? I should sit. I don't know if this is completely unrelated to the romance. Inquisitor, I want you to know that I am your friend. I will always be your friend. Oh, well, that's... So I hope to give you sound advice on this momentous day. Do what is in your heart, my friend. No matter what anyone might tell you. This is really, I really sudden. I can't imagine what you mean. Oh, I'm talking about marriage. Oh! Marriage? Josephine is a wonderful woman. If you're clear on your path... To... You're not proposing to anyone. I am going to kill Varric. Why do I believe everything he says? <laughs> oh my Why? god! Varric? Of course. I was going to propose? Bro. He mentioned a proposal. I suppose I filled in the blanks. Are you not going to? Or he did this on purpose. That dwarf gets entirely too much joy from my discomfort. I might get married. I've thought about it. I suspected as much. Being in court yeah, she was like, brought you good things. Many good things. But only a few have been by your choice. Take what happiness you can from those and do not let them go. I that made Liliana divine say. in my game. Advice from a friend for the days to come. Which I love for her, by the way. We must ensure that the Kunari do not disrupt the negotiations. The Exalted Council is in a very delicate state. I'm certain you can soothe the nobles' ruffled feathers while we solve the real problem. Not when the Inquisitor insults everyone. <laughs> Colin, why are you even here? <laughs> our only advantage is that Orlay and Ferelden are divided in goal and grievance. If they unite against us, Divine Victoria will have no choice but to support their claims. We could lose everything. Shoot, I really need to play through this with Trespasser at some I point. Know we're asking a lot of you, Ambassador. Like, I promise. I still miss so much content by not getting to play this. I know, my love. I'm sorry. My love. I will attend to the Exalted Council. I'm glad to see you safe after venturing into the crossroads. I do not have to tell yeah, you. Yeah, that is kind of weird. Love, but I feel like. Tell me, these strange spaces past the Alluvians. Are they safe the dynamic feels a little bit different between them in this, and I'm not sure. We're taking every precaution we can, Josephine. I will take your word for it. Maybe it's just because she's stressed. You've accomplished so much in the It just feels different. Years. I wish you did not have to imperil yourself for us again. I won't take unnecessary risks. I have someone far too important to come back to. And she will be happy for your return. Be safe, my lady. Please. I will do what I can here. Once the Canary are dealt with, brace yourself. The council is just as relentless. Huh. Well, that Hello, was a little bit love. cuter. The Canary will feel the loss of their lyrium. It is not an easy commodity to come by. But I feel like they were so much more, like, in love before. Deadlocked. This is what you do best, Josephine. I should hope so. But eventually your hand must be at the wheel. You will be called in soon. Move boldly and swiftly, and you may decide the outcome. The world's eyes are on you, my love. Let us remind them how you shine. I fought to protect the Inquisition in this exalted council. And for what? So we could deceive and threaten those we claimed to protect? Once we locate the spies... This isn't about the spies. You hid the Kunari body. You have all but seized control of the Winter Palace. We did what was right, not what was politically convenient. Do you know what this has cost us with Orlay and Ferenc? I have no idea! They are planning to dismantle us as we speak. And perhaps they are right. <sighs> Bro, I'm shocked right now. <laughs> I 
I kind of love that they were fighting, though. Don't worry oh, about shit. it. Damn it! We save Ferelden and they're angry. I remember this Orlais in the trailer. We closed the breach twice, and my own hand wants to kill me. Could one thing in this fucking world just stay? Fixed? I remember this line. I need to get to the Darvarad. You all can fight amongst I love how tall she is. Once I'm back. Oh, she's like crying. Thank you, Inquisitor. Would you... Would you like us to inform the Exalted Council of the danger? Yes. The music! If they fail, the Exalted Council needs to know what happened. I will inform them personally. Leliana, I can... No, your job is hard enough already. This is my responsibility. I'll have guards ready at the Alluvian, in case the Canari attack the palace. Make a watch over you. Cullen always doing the bare minimum. <laughs> yeah, I saved the world three times, right? Duism, hello. I need to play this DLC so badly, you guys. Like, I know the major things that come out of it, but I don't know how it all unfolds. Bye, Dorian. Bye, Vivian. Bye, Liliana. Bye, Josephine. Bro, Cullen, why are you still there? Yeah, go back! That's what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm like, wait, why did Josephine leave? Josephine returned to Antiva and her family. Oh, shoot. Thanks to Inquisitor's help, the Montiers were once again permitted to trade in Orlais. A few years were busy time. Many ships of the Montier Crest were built. Oh, shoot. Soon Ravain... Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> were built and set sail again from Antiva's harbors. Soon, Ravani pirate captains with ancient feud against Josephine's ancestors took to the seas, determined to rekindle the rivalry. Oh, great. Apart from Josephine's sister, nearly eloping with a dashing pirate prince. That is lit. Lady Montier uh, took the development in stride. The Inquisitor found herself warmly received by Josephine's family. Oh. Well, that's good. I was going to say, where's the... Yeah, your romance leaves and comes back. That's what I'm like. I need to play this DLC now. I mean, I needed to play it anyway, but like, this is the first time I've actually watched things from it. With the Illuvians, he could be anywhere. Maintaining the Inquisition, even as a peacekeeping force, leaves us vulnerable to agents of the dread wolf not the dread wolf the strength to respond not this guy we need to be careful Solus knows everything about us who we are how we work not dad <laughs> then we find people he doesn't know we will stop Solus by any means necessary can't be that hard how hard can that be Okay, that was cool. That was very hype. That was very hype. I feel like I gotta... I, <laughs> I have to play this now, you guys! <sighs> I gotta make some kind of time to replay Dragon Age 2, replay Inquisition, I'll do different romances, and then play the DLCs I never got to play. But yeah, I know Harding at the end. That was...